Yeah, fellas, how's it going? Still trying to run away from the savage horsemen. I hope these other fellows I'm warning are getting away. Warn the others! They've tore it, scout it! Evil bastards keep chasing me. Please, hey, you see that? Yeah. As long as I keep moving, their aim is too good. It's kind of hard to hit a moving target when you're moving too, hopefully. Hopefully these guys are just some putzes and not the actual expert horsemen. <laughs> oh, good. Made it, I think. Oh, look at all those fuckers chasing me. Someone give him a drink. I'm talking about. And bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning, and, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's Hopefully have a look at that leg of yours. Aren't too loud, fellows. It's freaking hot where I am. About a hundred and your teeth, boy. one or so today on pull the that desert. <laughs> Easy. All done. It's good they got the whole thing. You were lucky, out. lad. The arrow missed the bone. Don't leave only needed bandaging, behind. and I've done that often enough before. This is bad news More is a for good a wound. Can you stand? <laughs> there you go. Good as new. Ah. My balance is still good. <laughs> Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. He's Can got you manage? Nice suit of armor on, actually. Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? Were there any more survivors? Sir, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. 
And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg. Must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalas is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. Ain't that the truth? No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. God ain't the kind of fella that's just gonna help you for helping's sake. You gotta be able to at least help yourself a bit to prove it. At least that's how I was raised. <laughs> I don't know about you fellers. It ain't easy being alive. But you gotta live for something or what's the point? I hope you fellows have been liking the, this playthrough of Kingdom Come Deliverance and if you want to see more of it, I hope you guys will subscribe and hit that little notification bell. I have no idea how I got up here. <laughs> there we go. Hey, I discovered the baker. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. I heard. They say he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside to make horseshoes. I can't understand why he'd waste his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. He had a fine reputation. It's a great loss. Slade just, just like comes up and starts sweeping under me. Jeez. I don't know what I'm doing. I got an arrow on my knee, lady. Peasants. <laughs> ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Tomberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> When you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Sure Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Yes, yes, thank you, my lady. Really May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Especially Good one that's making swords and such for the local night, lord. Man. Pretty high status. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots, boots all before getting into bed. Just kidding. <laughs> I just like doing things. 
opposite people tell me, I guess. Can't help it, fellas. I'll just take up all this food, I think. I'm super tired. All out of breath, but like a a true scavenger, I'm just gonna put all these foods into my pockets. <laughs> That wine shoes pouring for me. Heck yeah. And some roast duck. Don't mind if I do. And I'll just eat straight out of a pot like some kind of barbarian. <laughs> Super hungry. Yeah, my nourishment's only five, so I need some proper eatings. Not gold, though. You can't eat gold, you know. It's a shame. <laughs> eat some of this duck, though. Stumble to bed. <laughs> mm. Where is the bed anyway? What's up, fellas? That looks like a storage shed. Well, I mean, I guess it's a uh, not over here, they said the Bailey, so it must be this building up here I was walking past. Uh, there we go. Close this door. Get us a little bit of privacy, you know, fellas. There we go. I decided to do a little bit longer episodes for... Old Kingdom Come and my Red Deads. You know. Try to keep it around 20 minutes, but sometimes I gotta make it a little bit longer so the story kind of fits. I don't want to cut off at weird points. It's usually fit, you know, a couple interesting things in 20 minutes, I think. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood. Yes, nice sir. and rainy. I like the rain actually myself. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy. Did I? Jeez. My lady. Uh, um, Lady of House knows how to party, I no, guess, fellas. No, no, not at all. <laughs> but what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to. But, to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry. I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. 
You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. She's pretty nice lady, you guys. What do you think? You might be right, man. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. Uh, you got a little timer. I went to the tavern to buy ale for Father. I know it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind. Because my girl Bianca worked there. Or Bianca. I courted her a while and we agreed to meet in the evening. But our meeting was never to happen. Oh, dear boy. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised Father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. I'd been secretly learning sword fighting and hiding it from my parents. So when we assembled the sword, I tried a few moves with it. There's a big difference between a wooden sword and a real one. Maybe if I hadn't taken that sword in my hand, I wouldn't be here today. You're full of surprises. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, like ready to attack the town. Story. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind, the armour glinted in the sunlight, and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful! And then death descended on Scalitz. I looked towards the tavern and saw a group of Cumans chasing down my Bianca, murdering her for sport. There was nothing I could do to help her. You mustn't blame yourself. She's with the Lord now. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. So it's good to have those, you know. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, was you us. thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of Cuman savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Sort of. <laughs> like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. It's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors he went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed, and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Pribislavitz, and killed many of our men. 
even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. It's the way of words, isn't it's it? It's awful. I was barely 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. So Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Townberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Slow down, Henry G. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. She left that big old jug of wine for me. Neat. these kinds of dream sequences. <laughs> Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company oh, heading no, here from Skelets. Both one of my legs all better. Excuse me, fellas. Hey, fellas, that's my video. I hope you liked it and you commented down below if you had any suggestions, alright? I hope you're subscribed to my channel because it really helps me out with the feeding the algorithm gods. But you guys have a good game next time, alright? And keep your shield on strong, alright?